Hello folks. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about one of the important aspects of machine learning called splitting up the data set into training and test uh, set. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to talk about uh, why exactly do we need to do that from machine learning perspective as well as what would be the ideal size of a test set while doing these kind of split. Okay. So folks, uh, this is Nitin, uh, who is determined to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop and cloud computing to the world. And with this aim, uh, I will be creating the associated content and going to publish uh, that content periodically uh, and uh, will make it available for you. So you can subscribe to my channel to get that latest updates uh, regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. So for this tutorial, uh, we are going to uh, use uh, California housing data set, uh, which we are going to use for splitting up the data set into two separate sets called training and test set. Okay. And this is my uh, data set, which is California housing uh, data set. Okay. And this is the one which we are going to uh, basically split into training as well as uh, test set okay so uh, moving on uh, now the question is why do we need to split the data set well the answer is that uh, if we want our machine learning and in our context uh, the algorithm to learn something then it needs to learn first from some historical data in order to make predictions so machine learning model is going to learn something on your data set uh, by understanding some correlations that are present in your data set. Okay. Now, if your machine learning model learns too much from your data set, that is learning too much to correlate uh, amount, uh, I mean, um, among the columns or attributes in your data set, this is called overfitting, which I will cover later on. Okay. So the performance might not be great uh, in such cases. Okay and uh, consider an example where a student who is learning by heart his lesson sits in exam and finds himself in trouble because the because he learned too much right and his lesson uh, learned too much by actually um, learn too much uh, of his lessons by heart and he doesn't manage to make the connection between what he learned uh, and what has came up in the exam okay so now same is the case with machine learning that is we are going to build our uh, our machine learning model on a data set uh, which we call as training set okay and then uh, we have to test that model on a new set called uh, test set okay which is uh, going to be uh, slightly different from a uh, data set on which we built machine learning model we generally uh, test the performance of our uh, machine learning model on the test data set. One thing to note uh, here is that the performance on the test set shouldn't be uh, that different from performance on the training set because then it would mean that the machine learning models understood well uh, the correlations and uh, didn't learn them uh, by heart so that it can adapt to the new sets and new situations. right? So this is the reason we split the data set into training as well as test set. So uh, let's start some coding in Python to perform, uh, you know, corresponding steps. Before we split up the uh, data, let's create the data frame uh, by reading the California housing data set. Okay, so let's perform those steps. Okay, so this is my uh, Jupyter notebook. Okay, so let me uh, read the California housing data set. Okay, so I will name this uh, California housing data set as uh, I mean the name of the data frame as data set equals to pd dot read csv and then I will name it as calif uh, sorry not name it as I will mention the name of the file csv file. California underscore housing underscore tree. 
don't confuse by uh, uh, suffix train okay uh, this is just for just it is the name of the file that's it okay so this is this and uh, then uh, what else um, now uh, what we can do is we can also create the feature matrix x and dependent vector y as well from the data set because in uh, you know in uh, real life basically what you do is uh, first of all uh, when, once you when you get the data you just uh, you know create your feature matrix uh, as well as your uh, dependent vector you know and then after that only you do all these kind of split okay so let's do that so x equals to data set dot i lock okay and what we want to do is we want to include all the columns except the last column okay so the last column is this one median housing value and this is going to be our target or uh, dependent variable as well okay so uh, i want to include all the rows okay and uh, i will exclude only the last column right so here uh, comma and then minus one dot values and for y this is going to be data set dot i lock and so so the index of this column is eight okay and that's why i want to include the um, uh, when i'm saying index index for this particular column okay this column is eight zero one two three four five six seven eight okay so that's why i want to include that dependent vector in y so here i would mention eight and then dot values okay let's run this cell and once this is done um uh, you know uh, what i'm going to do is next now to start importing the library which will help us in performing uh, you know uh, the steps uh, required that is splitting up the data set into training as well as test data set test set and this time i will introduce a different and a new library call, called cross validation from scikit-learn okay so here is this library from um sklearn dot cross validation okay import train test split so you can see the name of the class is pretty much intuitive right my name is pretty much intuitive here okay and uh, as i mentioned it is quite self-explanatory now next what we need to do is to uh, you know create our training and test set so we are going to create four variables uh, which will store uh, the training set uh, test set for both uh, feature matrix as well as uh, dependent vector okay so x train this is the first variable then x x test y train and then y test okay equals to train test this is a class we are using for doing that split okay and there are certain parameters which we need to define here so first parameter is x which is a feature matrix y which is a dependent vector and we need to define the test size okay here so let me explain these uh, parameters here to you okay okay so guys x train here uh, is the training part of feature matrix and x test is the test part of the feature matrix okay similarly y train is the training part of the dependent variable and which is associated with the x train obviously 
uh, meaning uh, that we have uh, uh, you know same indexes for both uh, uh, you know with the same observations so y test is the test part of the dependent variable uh, vector associated to x test so the first parameter uh, in this area as i mentioned earlier uh, is a feature matrix x uh, containing independent variable in our case y is the dependent variable vector so y, so in a nutshell by putting x and y we are kind of putting the entire data set right the next parameter uh, is the test size which i already told you which is the size of the test set basically that is if i mention test size uh, equals 2.7 then it would mean that 70% of your data will go in test set and 30% data going to training set but we never choose bigger size for test set okay rather we choose a smaller size and uh, generally the good choice for test size is uh, 0.2 or 0.3 and as a matter of fact uh, sometimes 0.25 as well but it never uh, you know exceed 0.4 anytime okay so to conclude uh, you know we learned that in this particular video uh, video tutorial that we uh, how do we build um, you know so kind of when we build our machine learning models on tra uh, training set uh, by uh, you know establishing some correlations among the independent variables and dependent variables denoted by x train and y train once this machine learning model understands the correlation between independent variable and dependent variable we test if the model can apply the correlations based on training and test set so essentially uh, predictions are made based on these correlations established right so better the model learns uh, correlation in the training set the better will be the predictions in the test set now folks uh, here is a question for you have you ever uh, ever encountered any other library uh, in python to split the data set into training and test set if yes then please uh, comment on the uh, comment section given below we would like to hear your uh, opinions on this as well and if you are watching this video uh, and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that uh, little subscriber but button uh, below and uh, in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release new video so thanks for hanging out with us guys i will be covering next topics in the upcoming videos so keep on watching Thank you.